Hello everyone, this is Crazy Cavamere, and welcome back to the Maze Runner Trials. Right, starting right off, right, right where we left off, and I'm going to be checking out section 5 this time, because I feel like it. Um, we are at still morning, so that's good, and I want to basically, <laughs> that's fun, um, I want to basically just get, uh, see if we can find the map for this place. Um, that's sort of my priority. So basically what I want to do is just, actually, here. I'm going to put all of my stuff in a chest, because I honestly do not care. Um, put all my stuff in a chest, and then we're just going to go running. And we're just going to try and find that uh, that section 5 map. We're just going to get all the way. It's, it seems like it, would, it was pretty much at the end, so we're just going to go all the way to the end and try and find that section 5 map. So, yeah, that's sort of the goal for today. Uh, hopefully some crops will grow while we're away. And then... Yeah. I'm really enjoying these more survival type maps. I don't know why. Like it's sort of like this uh this freedom to do what you want. And this is uh, obviously still in adventure mode, so I can't really do a huge amount, but it's nice nonetheless. Yeah, I figured that was gonna go to a dead end because it was going right back to where the door was. <laughs> like, eh, there's no way that that'll work. It was interesting that I thought I went really far that one time when I was at the creeper. I'm like, okay, I don't know where I ended up. And then, like, you know, I was checking out, exploring the maze, and I went back and ended up finding my stuff, and it was really, or what I thought was really far away. I was like, whoa, what the heck, how did I get all the way over here? But uh, it was actually, like, not far at all. <laughs> I thought that was funny that the, the maze sort of distorted uh, my sense of distance. I wasn't expecting it to do that to that extreme. So that was cool. I thought that was very neat. It's a sign of good maze design when you're like, oh, gosh, that was so far away. And then, you know, you come back and you're like, oh, no, really, that was like three feet away. So I think we're sort of wandering into like section six or something like that at this point, which I'm good with. As long as we get a section map, I don't really care. I just kind of want to check out the maze. I want to get, get very familiar with the layout of this or at least get enough maps to uh, be familiar with the layout of the maze. thought I saw something. Okay, that's just... Uh, Un unmapped, uh, unbuilt part. <laughs> but yeah, I, I just want to get get uh, you know maps for most parts of the maze. Like, oh, mine F. Okay, so that's some more iron here. All right, so there's lots of stuff hidden around, obviously. So that's good. So mine F. All right. Oh, another griever nest. Okay. Or is this the same? No, this can't be the same one. No, it's different. Okay, this doesn't give a notification for some reason. It looks like a river enough to me. It doesn't have an ore though. It has a birch tree. I doubt we need like birch wood specifically for anything, but uh, that might come in handy, I guess. Maybe I don't know. <laughs> I was expecting some more like loot-based things from those uh, graver nests, but that's obviously not the case. <laughs> yeah, I think I might have gotten lucky with that first one that had a uh, ore and stuff in it. Oh, hello. What is this? What is this? Is this like a passage to another place in the maze? Because I know there were like... Oh no, this is definitely something else. This is definitely something else. And it sucks because you... Man, I cannot walk. So if we come here with food... Then we can do parkour. No, we can't do parkour. Because we aren't on the upper part. How would we get on the upper part? That's like a piece of the maze. So the maze comes here and we can parkour around. Okay, that's interesting. Alright. So I think this is something probably very valuable. Uh, Minimap mod would be great for this map. I think they explicitly told you not to use one because of that, like... Boy, oh, would it be nice. You need to add waypoints and things like that. Woohoo. Yes. Okay, yeah, so that's definitely something that we cannot get to right now. It leads up there. Looks like is like the, the top point where it leads to, and then you can come back through the walls, I guess. Yeah, it leads up there, and you can come back and hop through there. So that is obviously something we cannot do, and this is not even like the place to get into it, but this is an interesting hidey hole here. Oh, I was going to say I'll take note of it, but I'm not going to remember where it is at all. 
it's not, it's not happening. All right, it's about to get very dark. <laughs> That's gonna suck. Is my brightness uh, up? Yes, it is. Okay. This is already kind of just creepier. I right, just, just it's dark. It's kind of kind of creepy. <laughs> Huh, but I just don't have two states. Interesting. Interesting that you removed that second state. Surprised I have not countered like that many nasties. I was pretty sure that like when it became night, it just got way nastier in the maze. But maybe I'm just lucky, or maybe I'm remembering things wrong, or maybe I'm yeah. I said the two options. <laughs> I was like, or maybe I'm just, I'm right and just being lucky. And then I'm like, oh wait, that's the same as just being lucky. Huh, never mind. <laughs> I have no clue what I'm doing right now. <laughs> I bet you the griever nests activate, so. You don't want to be hanging around those at night, definitely. Definitely don't want that. So I wonder what the griefer bomb does. Like, is it a uh, thing that does a thing? You know, like, what, what does it do? I don't know. To find that out. Also, I really have no idea which direction I'm facing. I should really, like, keep track of the, uh, the direction that I enter in, so I know, it, like, uh, you know, if I go the opposite direction, I'm heading back, basically. That's really creepy shadows there. I agree we're going to pop out of nowhere and like scare the bejesus out of me. Prediction. <laughs> Bet you the people who made this map know like the maze by like the back of their hand. All right, here you are. Hello. Oh, they get extra fast too. That's, he's giving me poison and stuff. He was not doing that earlier. Most of this is going to probably be cut. I don't want you to like, see me just literally running around the maze constantly. Um, how are my things doing here? Yeah, it's pretty good. Sheep have grown back as well. Great, great, great. I should probably... Oh, there's like wool in here. That's not the wool I grabbed, is it? There's no way. I only put this back in my main chest over here. Oh, I have a lot of wool. What the heck? Can I, do I make the string with wool? Yeah, I can make a string with a wool. All right. All right, let's head back to section five. I wanted to just get section five pretty much done today, hopefully. Um, yeah, I think the sort of random running about actually kind of helps, um, just because you're more likely to, I don't know, find things. All right, so I'm just gonna follow the left wall, actually. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the left wall technique, and I know it won't help me get me out of this. Get, blah, blah, blah. won't help me get out of this maze, but it tends to. Uh, I wonder if I can actually break the bottom of this tree. It tends to. That was the first way I went. Actually, this is the first way I went. But it tends to get you to uh, to places because you kind of end up tracing basically the entire maze, um, or at least like the entire edge of the maze. So I think you sort of end up you know, places that you want to be. It's nice being able to sprint. <laughs> I think I'm just going to end up going left, actually, with this ma with the maze this big. I'm going to end up in, like, different sections because I just keep going left. Yeah, probably. Here, let's just go straight this way. Maybe this way. It was sign. Hello. Wicked is good. Okay, that did a thing, I guess. <laughs> I know there's some significance to the... Uh, hello. There's some significance to the signs, but I cannot remember what it is. I remember them existing in the... Uh, in the books as well. Or something, you know, writing on the wall is actually what it was, but... I think it was, so... I really just want to lure this griever away because I kind of want to go down here. I want to go. I want to go down here. Come here, you big suck. Come here, big boy. All right, we're gonna take some damage. 
or not. Okay, there we go. Now I took damage. It's like, oh, or not. That's okay. That, that works for me too, actually. Oh, hello. There we go. That's what I freaking want. Yes, daddy. <laughs> All right, now I gotta figure out how the heck to get down. Oh, this is section four, though. This isn't even section five. All right, well. So, oh my gosh, did I just get the luckiest man alive? Yes, I did. We should told you where you were able to, where, like, where you found the map. It doesn't. <laughs> okay, look like I can make these maps, actually. So that's not a huge deal. I have plenty of wool. Do not have plenty of sticks. I need to figure out how to make sticks, but... I can make these, so that's not a huge deal that I... I probably won't be able to make it back. Probably. Higher chances of that than being able to get back. I think I'm sort of generally going the right way, but I have no clue. I could not tell you. <laughs> oh, heck yes. See, I knew which way I was going. Mm. Sense of direction, supreme. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> I was going to have to do it for this episode of The Maze Runner Trials. I hope you guys did enjoy. And I'll see you in the next episode. Peace out.